You, do you know what Cinco de Mayo is? We're celebrating Mexico's independence from Spain. It means Mexico is free from Texas. They're free. Planning on celebrating Cinco de Mayo because it's Mexican Independence Day? Well, think again. Join me as we explore the shocking truth behind the biggest misconception about this beloved holiday. We call it Cinco de Mayo. The good, the bad, and the ugly. If you want to celebrate Mexican Independence Day, you're going to have to wait a little over four months from now. It is a common misconception in the United States that Cinco de Mayo is Mexican Independence Day when September 16th is designated as El Dia de Independencia. So what the heck is so special about Cinco de Mayo? Well, in reality, Cinco de Mayo commemorates one of the most famous military standoffs of all times in Mexico. So you can pick up what I'm putting down. I'm going to give this to you in three parts. First, we're starting with the bed. In 1861, Benito Juarez insisted on the Mexican government halting all payments to their creditors, England, France, and Spain. They wanted their money though, so what did they do? They pulled up on Mexico, in Mexico. The French Emperor, Napoleon III, had something up his sleeve though. He also wanted to establish a French monarchy in Mexico. How, wait, first of all, he ended up sending his military commander, General Charles Lorenzens, and a gang of French soldiers to Veracruz, Mexico, in December 1861 to take over. How were they going to pull this off? Head towards Mexico City to establish the monarchy is what they planned on doing, but little did they know the Mexican soldiers weren't going out like that. Okay, so here's the ugly. El 5 de mayo, 1862, cerca de la de Puebla, Mexico. May 5, 1862, near Puebla, Mexico. The French army begin their advance towards Mexico City. Along the way, the Mexican army pulls up and flexes on them. The Battle of Puebla went down right there when the French army encountered a small Mexican force near the city of Puebla. But the French, and I'm not even going to say it, believed they could easily defeat the Mexican army. Pero el militar mexicano woke up and chose violence on that day and achieved a significant victory against the French army. The battle took place on Cinco de Mayo, which will go down in history as a day of pride and celebration para Mexico. Okay, so here's the good. If you want to call it that, the battle lasted for hours, but in the end, the Mexican army came out with the W. The French army, eh, they lost around five or 600 soldiers. Pero el militar mexicano, around 100. The victory was significant for Mexico as it gave them a morale boost and showed that they were capable of defending themselves against a powerful foreign army. The victory has now become a symbol of Mexican pride and resistance against foreign intervention. The Battle of Puebla, La Batalla de Puebla, will be remembered as a defining moment in Mexican history and a testament to the courage and determination of the Mexican people. So I know what you're thinking. Why do we have Americans wilding out on Cinco de Mayo, out here talking crazy in these streets? Oh, you, you, you don't believe me? Uh, take a look, right here. You, do you know what Cinco de Mayo is, what we're celebrating? Cinco de Mayo is for the black folks. Uh, I wouldn't know, but I um, have a lot of respect for the We're holiday. boring, we're white and we're boring. Thank you. So what's the answer? Yo no sé nada. But what I do know is this, if you're watching this, I'm not about to let you end up like so many Americans out here being misinformed. So don't feel ashamed or embarrassed if you've been partying on Cinco de Mayo in the past and didn't even know why. Most people around the world don't know the significance of Cinco de Mayo. So let's fast forward to May 5th, 21st century, where we wrap up the good, the bad, and the ugly all in one. Single de Mayo has since then become a popular holiday in the United States. From coast to coast, people are enjoying traditional Mexican food and drinks and dancing to mariachi music and participating in parades and other festivities. I have a lot of facts on this, but I'm not about to bore you with them on here. You can check out my community page for the food and alcohol facts if that interests you. But don't just take my word for it. Cinco de Mayo is a widely celebrated holiday across the United States with events and festivities in major cities and small towns alike. And now you know the real about Cinco de Mayo. What Cinco de Mayo festivities or celebrations are happening where you live? Drop that info in the comments section. You wanna know more about the real Mexican independence though? Check out this video. I'll catch you over there.